Hi, so I'm going to cover all of Resident Evil's mainline game story. And in this video, I will be covering the first three games. I'll be using the remakes inside of the originals. So now all of the events I'm going to cover today take place in 1998. Special Tactics and Rescue Surveys, aka Stars, goes to investigate the disappearance of the other members near a mansion. They find a lot of people dead and they are attacked by zombie dogs. And they go in the mansion and close the doors behind them. The Stars contains of Chris Redfield, Jill Valentine, Barry Burton, Rebecca Chambers, Albert Wesker and others. All split up in the mansion cause that's a very good idea. And they find zombies in the mansion also the mansion is like full of puzzles like to unlock a door you have to solve so many puzzles to get a key that is so far away to a different location. They learn that the mansion known as Spencer Mansion is the base of Umbrella Corporation. They learn that there is a traitor among them. Jill originally thought it was Barry but Barry was just doing that cause Wesker said he was kill his family if he didn't do so. So Wesker was the real traitor working for Umbrella Corporation underneath the mansion in the basement was a lab which was full of muted B.O.W.s locked in containers. Finally, they found out the real traitor is Vesker and Vesker is the B.O.W. tyrant on them. He managed to defeat it and Vesker starts the mansion to self-destruct and escapes it. As the rest of the stars members are escaping it, Darren shows up again and they defeat it using a rocket launcher and they get out of here riding in a helicopter as the mansion is destroyed. It was all caused by a virus known as the Tyrant Virus or T-Virus by short. Made by Umbrella. They made the virus to like create bioweapons for armies and stuff. They pretend to be a company who makes medicine and stuff, but we all know what they are up to. Resident Evil 2. It's time for the virus to leak into Dragon City, the home of Umbrella. New police cop Leon S. Candy, whose first aid is on the job, goes to Dragon City Police Department, RPD, unaware of the horrors that are going to consume him. And Claire Redfield, the star of Chris Redfield from RE1, is looking for Chris in the same place as Leon. As Leon enters the place, he finds many zombies that he meets Claire. They are both interested. They are both introduced to each other. They are both split up. The two separately meet an injured officer named Marvin, who was bitten but is yet to be turned. He tells them there is an underground tunnel going through from here, which they can use to escape. The RPD actually used to be an art museum before turning into a police station. Marvin eventually dies and turns into a zombie as well. They meet a mutated person who's not a zombie but something else. They fight him until he escapes from there. Leon meets a girl named Ida who claims herself to be FBI and here for investigation. Clark meets a little girl named Sherry who's lost here and is looking for her mother. Another tyrant who is in clay but starts chasing after Leon, Ida, Claire and Sherry. Ida tells Leon that's a secret umbrella, a slit in the sewers. Umbrella's Annette Birkin is the one who caused all this and Leon goes with her to there. Sherry is kidnapped by some corrupt officer and taken to a nearby orphanage. Claire goes there to save her but corrupt officer has been killed by the same dead person from earlier. Claire meets Annette Birkin, Sherry's mother who reveals the muted person after them is her husband William Birkin who is now mutated. Leon and Claire both find a recording revealing William was trying to sell G-Virus from Umbrella to sell elsewhere, but Umbrella soldiers caught him and he injected himself with the G-Virus, Golgotha virus, to save himself, killing the soldiers and breaking some vials containing T-Virus, causing the outbreak in Raccoon City. Back to present, Sherry has been infected by William and Nate asks Claire to bring her to the secret lab so she can treat her. And Leon gets there with Ada as well and Ada also kisses Leon to manipulate him further. He tries to catch Annette but fails and gets injured leaving it all up to Leon. Leon gets a sample of the G-Virus and defeated the mutated William and it reveals to Leon that Ada is not actually an FBI agent but rather someone who wants to sell the virus for money. And says not trust her. Ada demands Leon to give her the sample and shoots Ada and begins to fall. Leon tries to save her but fails. Claire finds the vaccine for Sherry, defeats mutant William who is still not dead. Sherry is saved but her mother and it dies due to the injury she got from mutant William. Claire begins a self destruct sequence. Super Tyrant, who has now been muted even further, comes to Leon. Leon kills him with help from Ada who is still alive and gives him a kill launcher. Leon, Claire and Sherry manage to get onto a train to get out of this place before it is destroyed. 
Mutated William comes once again onto the train and they finally defeat him for the last time. The three are out of the place now and are safe. There was also another subhub named Hung who escaped with a sample of the G-Virus. Why Resident Evil 2 shows us the tale of Leon and Claire in RPD sewers and the lab? Resident Evil 3 shows us the... Resident Evil shows us the story of Jill Valentine and Carlos during the time of the outbreak in Raccoon City, happening at the same time as the events in RE2. Jill is at her home, getting nightmares about becoming a zombie because of her encounter with zombies in RE1. Soon an unkillable B.O.W. breaks into her utter apartment and chases after her, intending to kill her. She learns that it's named she learns that it's called Nemesis and as up the stars member, Jill finds the Raccoon City to be in chaos, zombies everywhere. She meets a man named Carlos who also works for Umbrella. Jill instantly blames him and says, You guys are the one who caused all of this. But Carlos was not behind any of it and had no idea what Umbrella was doing and he was telling the truth. Carlos is there with a man named Mikel who asks her help into getting a train moving so they can get civilians out of here. So he gets the power on and meets another man named Nikolai who is rude and cold AF. Nemesis arrives again at the train so Jill loses it into the sewer squad only after her. Eventually, Jill has to fight the nemesis because it won't leave her alone. She kills it for now. As she's making her way back into the station they, so they can get moving, the nemesis starts chasing after her again. Kala shoots a tanker near nemesis, buying them some time. Jill, Mikhail, and Nikolai get in the train while Kala goes to RPD to find out something about a vaccine. The nemesis starts chasing the train, and Nikolai, learning that it's only after Jill separates the train box she's in from his, betraying her. As the train crashes, Nemesis is muted even for the angels parts it again and as about this as it's about to lose it manages to infect her with one of its tentacles. Jill and Nemesis are now both unconscious. After some time, Carlos finds Jill and takes her to a nearby hospital where there is supposedly a vaccine it cures her with the vaccine. They learn that there is more a small they learn that there's more stock of the vaccine in the secret lab below the hospital. Jill goes there. Finds the vaccine as she is carrying out to give the vaccine to the government. She has to fight the nemesis again and Nikolai steals the vaccine. She goes after Nikolai. Her nemesis gets muted in for the angel has to fight it for the last time. She finally kills it using a rail gun. She goes to Nikolai but he shoots the vaccine destroying it. She shoots Nikolai. And Jill and Carlos get out of the, the city in a helicopter as the government resorts the entire Icon city in order to contain the virus. So this was the story of the first three mainland games. There's also a prequel titled Resident Evil Zero which I might explain in another video. There are several spin-off games which explains the lore and further depth which I won't be covering. There's also then there's Code Monica, another trilogy of self-contained storylines and then Ether Winters trilogy which I will be covering in upcoming videos.